What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today, asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? I wager dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London Transportation Network. Don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. Miss Plum is no longer head of the Southwark Blighters, and they go into this fight leaderless. Rooks have good odds. This borough belongs to us! Love Single bus for you criminals. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Hey! I'm after him! Gotta go. They're gone. No, not for long. They'll hurt my kids. They'll. I don't know what they're doing. They're waiting to Tell me why you've got the blighters after you. The city's been turned upside down since Attaway Transport and the Milner Company went belly up. With no one to fill their shoes, the gangs made their oh, move. Easy, girl. Well done, Jacob. As is Bailey, the only omnibus builder in the city, they are demanding that I work for them. I know good men who want to form a united transport company. 
What is it they say in America? For the people, by the people? That is our intention for the London General Omnibus Company. But those thugs got hold of the deed to Attaway Transport. We need it to begin our company. Come on. Mr. Bailey, I am Miss Fry. Consider me an ally to your cause. Easy. Atta girl. Done. Strange lady. Mad as a march here. I sent Ross men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, 
You are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good, moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. I'll take one. Here you go, sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership, whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. Oh, oh, oi! <laughs> you weak fool. Get a job! Best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. How are you today? Jacob, it's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant, undercover. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abeline Wright all along. Well, I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cockham merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! I, 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 I'm keeping my eye on you. If only I knew which shipment it was, then I could trace the weapons to their owner. Capital idea, Freddy. Here we are, the shipping docks. Now, where are the Cockham crates intended for Mr. Plutus?
Where the devil is it? I've seen all them tea crates. Oh, Judging by what's in those crates. That's just it. In madness, there's genius. <laughs> Hello. Now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. Don't want them tea leaves turned to dust, do we? We take these crates. Any mistake will cost you dearly. Keep your knickers on. We hear you. Good, because I ain't repeating myself. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. They're nervous. I should keep my distance. I bet Greenie's tailing Evie right about now. Good luck.
Templars. Ah, yes. Lead me to Mr. Plutus. That's the way. Yeah. Steady on. Doing fine, girl. Let's go. Walk on, girl. Who's a good boss? You are. Steady on. <laughs> Whoa, now! Let's go. The weapons are here. Same routine as before. The twopenny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Hmm. What good is a key if you don't know what locket opens? I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry, Mr. Green, here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen, kept in the Tower of London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there? A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside. I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. Good luck. Evie. Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Ho! Escort to the keys. Ho! Who comes there? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. First, Queen Victoria's keys and all's well. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay.
going to see what that noise was. I wish they'd just knocked the constable out. <laughs> Is someone out there? Yes. A friend. Oh, that's good. Say, friend, could you get me out? Guards ran off with the keys. where that noise was coming from. Two minutes. Alert! The leader of the rocks is in... Their rifles are much better than the standard issue. Might as well help ourselves. Oh. Nicole! She's in the... Ah! Look, ah! Thank you. It's treason is what it is, and desecration of the chapel. Miss Thorne told me to be grateful they didn't kill me outright. The nerve. She's after an object of great power. She cannot be allowed to steal it. Not the crown jewels. Something much more important. We must stop her. I still have men loyal to me. I'll rally them. Gentlemen, we are facing an enemy we never expected. Traitors I in our midst. But this young woman is our ally and she knows their methods. Follow her directions as you would my own. Yes, sir. If the constable says so, then it's our duty. For Queen Victoria! <laughs> Draw a 
and shoot! Stay here. Thank you. We have a problem! What is this? I suspect something is not right here. If there was ever a need that human freedom needed to be curbed and brought to heel, that was it. What's she doing here? Look into that. The rock! One at a time! Find her! I am your better! So, you have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The Shroud isn't here. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it, when we would better the condition of humanity. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. <laughs> Tell me then. <laughs> No. Take this down, then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Miss Thorne. You supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The order thanks you. 
I thank you. But the shroud can only be worn by one. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. That is the most I can do. May the father of understanding guide you. Yes, what is it? Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key? Where is the key? There was no key found on her body, sir. The shroud will be mine, even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. In oh, yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, Knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Two penny won't be leaving that vault. Where is Tupini? Please! I have a family. He's in the vault ogling his priceless paintings. Stop it. What can you tell me about this? <laughs> 
Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. You've got the rest of your life to count it, as long as you live.
You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. the people of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other, when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. <laughs> 